we are going to switch topics again. We're going to talk about this new movie coming out. July is it July fifteenth of this week. When is when, when does it come out? Oh, right. the movie we're going to talk about is War for the Planet of the Apes. War for the Planet, and it comes out. Comes out. Hold on, let me pulling up the date right now. I'm pulling up the date on my phone right now, and it comes out July fourteenth, two thousand seventeen, which is I guess about two weeks now. Two weeks now. Um. I'll be real with you. I am. I am excited about this film. I'll be real with you. I am. This 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 new this new remake series of the Planet of the Apes. You know they've been bringing it back. I've been thinking this. I I think it's dope. I am one of those people who I've been critical of Hollywood for taking films and redoing them and doing them over and over again just to make money. This is another one of those situations. This is another one of those situations. I'll be honest with you, but I'll still tolerate it just because. I'll be honest with you, I'll, you know what? And we talked about this last week because I went to see Transformers and Transformers was just total, total reeking. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the aroma of bullshit just, just raising to the heavens. Just terrible movie. I thought it was a terrible movie, right? This, this planet, this war for the planet, of the, this planet of the ape series, I think this is like, this is like the third or fourth movie that's come out. And as far as I remember, the last few movies have been pretty dope. No matter of fact, no, it's only been two movies, but both of those Planet of the Ace movies were good. Like the ones that came out since 2011, this remake of the series, both those movies were pretty dope. Like I, I enjoyed them both. And I think as far as the new one is coming out, I've been reading the reviews on it. It's gotten pretty high reviews. A lot of people giving it the 74% out of 10 at average on Rotten Tomatoes. It might be good. Like I, I think, I think with this film... I think with this film, I think they have some people on staff, on project, who are really taking their time to make sure the script, the script writing and the screenwriting is good and so that it makes sense. It ain't just some shit just thrown together like in a, in a blender and just throw out for people to go spend thirteen fifty to go watch on premiere night. Like, I like, I like, I like that. And I think also, with the film like War for the Planet of the Apes, because, see, the thing about Planet of the Apes is you can't loot. It's, like, it's kind of like Transformers. Transformers... You know, Transformers, Transformers, Planet of the Apes. These are series. These are series that stretch back over forty years. Really, Planet of the Apes stretch back. So I think sixty years, sixty or no, sixty or fifty years. I think the first Planet of the Apes movie came out fifty years ago. So whether the movie is bad or not, it's still going to get a lot of people coming out to the theaters and watch it. And from what I've seen, the plot lines have been pretty good. Only thing is, is I don't know how. I don't know if this next one is going to be the last one. I hope it is because I don't want them to be like Fast and the Furious and just get hella repetitive. Like I don't, I hate, I hate repetitive film series that are just going on for no reason at all. Like a movie is getting repetitive to me with when by the third or fourth movie, all the main characters have already died and gotten killed, and you're literally just giving. Whenever it's at the point in the film series where the main characters have died and one of their kids or one of their daughters or sons live in the legacy, that's when it's gotten to the point where it's like, okay, this is trash. Okay, we're done. We're done. We need to end this right now. This is this is not a good movie anymore. It's, it's, it's not a good movie anymore. Johnny, Johnny, it's not a good movie. It's not a good movie. Leave it alone. Let it die. Like you, that, that's that's my thing. That's my thing when it comes to film. Like you have to, you have to, you have to know when to pull the plug. You, you gotta you gotta know when to pull the plug. That's my thing. That's when it comes to these film series and make hundreds of millions of dollars. I understand you want to make a lot of money in the box office, but but you, you gotta you gotta know when to pull the plug. That's my thing. You gotta know when to pull the plug because. It, it, it's, it's so, it's so, it's so terrible to see a movie or a series have to get the plug pulled from it, rather than the person, the producer, or the director pulling the plug by themselves. That's why I give, I give a lot of love and I get a lot of respect to my girl Lena Dunham with the TV show Girls, because with girls, with girls, with girls, shout to girls, girls was a, girls was such a dope show to me because the show for the last, it, it lasted for six seasons, and each season it did hella, 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 hella good in the ratings, but hella good in the ratings, hella people were watching it was a hella good series, but Lena Dunham decided to pull the plug when she pulled it because she didn't want it to be one of those shows that's just online, Just she didn't want it to be one of those shows that's just there just because she wants to make money, and I respect her integrity for that, I really do, I respect her integrity because a lot of filmmakers don't have that but then I understand, because you know you want to make money, like I, I understand, I understand the logic you, you want to make money, I, I understand that, you, you want to you want to keep making money. I understand that completely. You want to make money. You want to make money. You want to get hella... You want to get... It's like the same thing I said about Coyote Peterson earlier today.